I've been anxiously awaiting July 1st because I know that it marks the launch of FedNow in the US, which is essentially a CBDC or a central bank digital currency. I've been concerned since the day I heard about it. Is there going to be pushback? Are Americans just going to hop on it without a fight? If you've been paying attention, you may know that Canada, the US, and Mexico signed a treaty called the Declaration of North America, or DNA, in January. So, my American brothers and sisters, it seems we share more than just a border. Usually things that happen in the States end up coming here to Canada as well. I stumbled upon something interesting last night. I heard about the WHO signing an agreement with Europe to adopt their vaccine certification method that was used during the pandemic. This was announced early June. I was wondering when we were expecting this to come into play. I checked and the date it begins is also July 1st. I understand FedNow is ever so slightly different from CBDC because instead of just making a currency everyone has to use, they instead have the Federal Reserve act as an intermediary, but it's the same concept having your currency tracked and controlled by the state. And sure, they said, or maybe they'll say it's optional, but they're just gauging if they're going to be met with enraged citizens. It's always optional until it isn't. <laughs> Notice how strange it is that they would choose to roll out a CBDC type pilot program on the exact same day they begin implementing a worldwide digital ID. Oh yeah, you know what else July 1st is? Canada Day except we aren't supposed to call it that or celebrate it anymore because that's how messed up this country has become. If you're still here with me, I have a plea for you. Wherever in the world you come from, if you hear about how convenient, secure, and interoperable, interoperable a new system is, either a central bank currency or a digital ID, just know this. These words have been carefully analyzed to prey on your emotional state after these insane three years we've had. People felt unsafe, so they craved security. People got so used to living in a bubble that now they long for the convenience of curbside pickup and doing everything digitally to avoid human connection. This isn't how we're meant to live. Interoperability hints that you will lose sovereignty and the world will be ruled by, a, by one global power. These words are code for surveillance and control. Think about what your government has done for you lately, and then ask yourself if they deserve your trust. If they're able to